That's okay. That's all right. Now, this is not the club. The club's not going at the same time as the pressure. No. It's the bang, you're there. The club's still here. It's like, now it's the body. What you did then, you moved the club head at the same time. The same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was better. So it lags, it's like cracking a whip, it's behind. Yes, that was it. Feel the difference? A much more efficient transfer. A much more efficient transfer of speed through to the club so you don't have to put as much effort in. It's not hitting, it's now bang, you've moved pressure. To be honest with you, I very rarely pull this out. I normally just try and do just a, a pitching wedge shot, but then can't get any sort of height or stop on it. It's more guessing how the bounce is going to be. It's more damage limitation, yes. really. Yeah. Trying to... That's not a bad start. So two shots, yeah. same intention, two different flies. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what it's going to do. You're going to get a different reaction when it lands, different roll. Yeah, exactly. So there's the lower one. A bit of check on it. Yeah. Can you keep the ball down with that distance? So as you increase the club head speed, can you ad adapt that loft? Yes. Now that's a different shot. Yeah. Different feel. Yeah. Because as we increase the speed, we're increasing the spin, and we're le we're, we're probably going to release a little bit earlier to help get the speed, and we're going to launch it higher. So we've got to be able to control that loft, essentially loft it down as we want to increase the speed. Like that. Yeah. Now that's perfect. Sure. There we go. If the ball's finishing closer to where it lands, you're going to have more control. All you've got to do. With your practice, and shoot yourself to distance control of your landing spot. Oh, there. We are. It's all right. It's going to happen every now and again. It's <laughs> Good job the pin was there. So it's a shallower arc. So visualising the arc around your body can help. So you're not doing, you're not getting like this. Starting to use your your wrist to pick the club up to try and get some kind of angle of attack. You're just letting the club swing. And what's changing this arc here? So if I go shallow or steep, difference between those two, that's too steep, difference between those two can be this, that does change things, but this now, that's shallow, that's steeper, this has got to be, I've got to control this, this is like, it's okay if I'm practicing a lot and I've got kind of a real high level of feel for what I'm doing, if that awareness isn't quite there, yeah, we want to be, we're going to need this sometimes, it's good to practice. But if we use the shallower option, there's less going on here. And if I want to get steeper, I just set up, shoulders more level, maybe a bit of weight here, and I've got the steepness already, and now I'm shallow, or sorry, I'm wide, so I've got good contact. That's awesome. Oh. What a shot. Oh. Okay. Oh. Contact was good, yeah, that was different. Yeah. That's awesome. 18 handicap, yeah? Oh, <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> That's a super fly. It stops quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Feel good? Yeah, yeah. What's it feel like in comparison to your previous way of doing it? I've obviously got obviously two cocky wristy which gives me too many variables as to what the shot's going to do so that feels like I can with the same sort of shallow backswing but you're saying now I can control it more feel more comfortable with it right. to be honest with you yeah. awesome and it's a, it's a confidence thing Paul it is confident so I would never pull this club out from here normally wouldn't you nah. <laughs> no. I'd be probably a this seven iron the, bump and run and hope for the best <laughs> this is the club to use yeah Look at that. Oh. There's a time for an 8 iron or a 9 iron, but it's kind of really close to the green, maybe. Yeah. But to be honest, even still. 
yeah, that sound there is, is exactly what the shot requires. Oh, so the ball gets there. <laughs> That's all right. Just have a, on your practice swing, just notice where you where this takes you to. So now we're not we're not trying to hit it up there. Just have a few practice swings for me between those sticks. We're not trying to hit it up there. We're trying to go there. Feel the difference? Yeah. Because the, we know the ball's going to pop up. That's going to dig. Yeah. yeah, the ball's going to pop up anyway because of the, of the loft and the speed. Should I say on the club? Oh, of the club, the speed it, through the ball is going to hit it high, so you can strike it low. That's it. Oh. You're going to get a higher ball flight. Like that. That's awesome. Okay, now let's go with more power but lower. And notice, so this way now, but I want you to, but, 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 but hitting it to the green is going to have to be powerful. So notice the timing of when you rock it back and through, how quick you get back to your left side. Yeah. As opposed to. Sense yeah. the difference? Yeah. So when you want to hit it lower, you get back there quicker. Way, way quicker and with more pressure. If you love the coaching, but you're not able to get a lesson and want to experience the transformation for yourself, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson. It's a training tool that allows you to discover your swing naturally and a two hour download all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural efficient golf swing you're mindful now that's it of that pressure shift you're aware of it oh. that's okay <laughs> that's all right now this is not the club the club's not going at the same time as the pressure no. It's the bang, you're there, the club's still here. It's like now it's the upper body. What you did then, you moved the club head at the same time. The same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was better. So it lags, it's like cracking a whip, it's behind. Yes, that was it. Feel the difference? A much more efficient transfer, a much more efficient transfer of speed through to the club so you don't have to put as much effort in. It's not in, it's now bang you move pressure it's like throwing the ball it's there and then that's all released but effortlessly oh that's beautiful get it look at that shot great shot I see it doing when it's behind it's, the, it's traveling down and the loft's down yeah. okay if it's moving with you starting to release you've now got to try and fight the loft keeping it down and there's tension you've got to try and You've also got less efficiency, so you've got to put more effort in, which is going to release it more. So now you're fighting against this release, whereas when, when you shift your pressure, it's behind. Now it's just an effortless, controlled release. Yeah, awesome. It's easy to keep the loft down then. If this is moving with you, you can't, you can't keep that loft down. It's so difficult, but when it's behind now, it's so easy. That would scare the life out of me normally, that where the, the side the light is on as well. Would it? Yeah. Because of the... Because of yeah. the the angle of attack you need. Yeah. Feel like you'd have to. You, be, you feel like you've got to hit down, which means you might dig it in. Yeah. And then obviously the compensation for that, the overcompensation is oh, don't there <laughs> and thin it. Whereas you can be. That's it. You can be really assertive with it. That's perfect. <laughs> Get in the hole, please. Look at that, that's incredible. Oh, that's fantastic, boy. It is, yeah. Brilliant. The strike. I mean, you can tell from here, look, what the divots are like. It's ball turf, steep angle of attack, but not but using the bounce. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, bad, hands worked yeah. too early at the ball. Yeah, everything was it was back together as opposed to bang the ball. The pressure's there. Then this comes. There's a very distinct 
time into this. That's it. And it's so noticeable and you'll see it when you watch your video back. Yes, that's it. Beautiful. What Amazing. And what's, what's important is that you can distinguish the difference between those two swings yeah. with the timing and the feel of the swing, the use of momentum. good again just a little bit, bit of heavy bit yeah but because you're using the bounce still got there still got there it's not digging in it's not like well that would have been probably down to where our the flask and that is the, the old way and then it? you've left yourself a shot that you wouldn't have fancied before <laughs> yeah. you're getting closer and it's yeah. like a bit of a knee knock yeah. closer to the green and it's like oh god i've got and then it's any kind of dodgy lie as well it's just it, it's just it's like you're just increasing the error adding potential potentially more shots all the time and over 18 holes it might only be two or three shots but then with the putting as well that yeah. might be two or three shots before you know it's like six shots which is just more a bit of strike or a bit of just um, strategy really as well just reading the situation and just recognizing what is needed and having the ability which you've got to adapt your technique for it because you recognize through your awareness how you need to adapt so you've got an understanding of what this requires all the options available what you, the, the, how the conditions are influencing it and how you can just adapt what you're doing because you've got the feeling you, you know, and also the sound of it not just yeah. feel you, there's a sound to it oh yeah that's right I can feel that hear that Shh, that's right and you start to just recognise your own movement in response to that very clear outcome yeah. that's awesome mate well done